moving so carefully Let's start living dangerously It's not a joke SIGN SOME PLAYERS! Self-hatred, forget what I'm saying and Where the beat go? Oh, ain't that something? Drums came in, you ain't see that coming Hands on my head, can't tell me nothing Got a taste of the fame and upon my stomach Throw it back up like I don't want it Why au joueur le plus fou je passe le téléphone au joueur le plus costaud je passe le téléphone au plus endurant et je passe ce téléphone au joueur le plus technique FIFA 21 player review part 29 today's episode team of the season Jul Kunde I managed to pull him out of the La Liga player picks which if you haven't grinded them out yet you absolutely should and I wanted to review Kunde because his team of the group stage card was the bane of my existence through most of this FIFA and I had high expectations for this card. To be fair, the young Frenchman absolutely lived up to those expectations. I was worried that his height and his work rates might hinder his abilities, but honestly, his unbelievable stats completely made up for it. With a shadow on him, you can get his pace up to 96 and his defending absolutely god tier on full cap. I didn't think his pace would be so noticeable, but this man is so, so quick. I really didn't even notice his height either due to his 99 jumping. The only knock I would have on his card is his passing, just because I pass out of the back a lot. His pros are pace, standing and sliding tackle, balance and jumping, and his cons are passing, and his stamina is a bit low for a center back. Overall rating, 9.2 out of 10. These are three signings that would make Chelsea win the league. Personally, I believe that Chelsea need a prolific striker that they can trust to finish chances. A few players for this could be Kane, Haaland or Lewandowski. But personally, if I was to pick one, I'd have to go for Haaland, for his youth, and for his incredible finishing ability. And not only that, but he's got amazing celebrations. Personally, I feel like Chelsea should play a 4 at the back. However, if they're going to continue with 5 at the back, they're going to need another defensive option. Giles Kunde would be a great option, however, I think Marquinhos would probably be the better option. This is because Marquinhos and Thiago Silva already have that link. Not only this, but Tuchel already knows how to get the best out of him as well. And for the final position, I think Chelsea's starting 11 is strong enough. So for me, I'm saying Chelsea need a backup goalkeeper. Johnson would be a great option. He's already got experience in the Premier League and he's a young player for the future. Bang, bang, bang. 
Hey Jules, we finally have a transfer offer for you. What? No way. Who? Man United? Chelsea? PSG? Close. It is Premier League. Oh, who has? Man City? Liverpool? No, Tottenham. <laughs> what? Jules? Jules, where are you going? I made up my mind, I would never sit for anyone again. Oh yeah? Who's that over there? I got shot but didn't die, let him see who's next to try Did I cry? Hell nah, nigga, tears shed For all my homies in the pen, many peers dead, nigga still Call me one time, shame on you Call me twice, can't put the blame on you Call me three times, fuck the peace sign Load the chopper, let it rain on I got some breaking football news from today that you need to know. Let's go! Fabrizio himself has a report that Cunha has agreed personal terms with Chelsea until June 2026. Not only that, Chelsea are in advanced talks with the clubs right now and Kurt Zuma could be included in the negotiation and the swap deal. Let me summarize the situation for you guys. Spurs wanted Kunde, but he rejected them because he wanted a bigger club. And then Tottenham were interested in Zuma, however, instead Chelsea are using him to get Kunde. Tottenham have bottled something yet again. In other news, Manchester United have finally confirmed they have an agreement with Real Madrid to sign Veron. Darby's Jason Knight will be out for at least two months after a training ground tackle from his manager Wayne. Wayne Rooney. Bro, Wayne Rooney, what are you doing, bruh? Barcelona have reportedly rejected an offer from Bayern Munich for Serginho Dest. Holland was asked about his transfer price and he said, I hope they are just rumors because 175 million euros would be a lot for one person. A humble man, I see. Borussia Dortmund finally confirmed that they signed Malin from PSV for around 30 million euros. Brilliant signing by Dortmund. Tano confirmed that Toby Alderweireld is leaving to join Aldo Hale in Qatar. Tano really have to go and get a center back now. Chelsea have also agreed to sign goalkeeper Bettinelli on a free transfer. It seems like Bordeaux are interested in signing Antonio Robertson. They're looking to negotiate a loan deal with a permanent option. The US women's team tied to Australia 0-0 in the Olympics. How do we not beat them? What the heck? And now here's the knockout stage brackets for the Olympics for the women's teams. Midema has set the women's soccer Olympic record for the most goals in a single tournament and it's only been three games. She has eight goals in three games. What the hell? Daniel Samu joins Southampton from Chelsea. It's a done deal. Yudis Musa will reportedly be out for around three to six weeks and might miss World Cup qualifiers for the US. FC Dallas and Ricardo Pepe to a new five-year contract through 2026. This probably means they're trying to make more money when they transfer him to another club in Europe. The reports of the swap deal including Anthony Martial and Earl Erling Haaland are not true. Yeah, I'd assume so. Nobody in their right mind would accept that deal. <laughs> Here's a picture of a huge cutout board in India of Messi. Bro, people over in India actually love Messi. And the superstar Kansas City quarterback Patrick Mahomes joined the ownership group for Sporting Kansas City. Patrick Mahomes is falling in love with a beautiful game as well. Follow me to stay updated with all football news. I've heard that Zoom is going the other way, and that's just what I've heard. So it'll be pretty simple. Rudiger, Thiago Silva, and Kunde as the three centre backs. All I'm saying is in my three transfers for Man United to make video, uh, I said Sancho and Varane. Um, I don't remember who the third player was that I said. I, I don't remember. And for Chelsea, I did say... I didn't say... I said this would get Marquinhos instead of Kunde, but I did say Kunde in the video, saying that he would be a great option. So I think these clubs are clearly just watching my videos and making signings based on that. So, you know, Kunde will be a great, a great signing.